want to. Where do I get her from? God. Hi. Mm. Stop crying, okay? I cannot. Uh, I cannot stop crying. I want to cry at my mind. Hi. I really sympathize with you here. I really do. But um, I think everything has gotten to the point where I have to face reality in your case. Okay, the reality. Face reality, doctor. Yes, I called Chief Ibe a while ago to tell him uh, what happened to your family and the implications to the planned surgery today. And um, while he was devastated by it, he refused making any further effort towards saving you. Saying he doesn't even have a hundred thousand naira to spare for you right now. And I'm sorry, that effectively forecloses every chance of it ever happening. I'm afraid uh, you have absolutely no chance of making it alive. Hey! 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 Ask you and your son to leave my house. No, but you can do what you can do. 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 Mm. Left, okay? Saying we shouldn't bother him even if we have a one billion naira to pay. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. Uh, nurse, help them pack their things so they can. Oh. Please, at least give us five minutes alone in this room, please. Five minutes for what, sir? I want to say my last prayer under a roof. A roof. Because I know once we leave this place, I'm going to spend my last few remaining days in the street. Please. Please, doctor. Well then, uh, nurse. Yes, sir. Let's give them five minutes. Um, please, I must warn. Five minutes, you say. Anything beyond that, I'm afraid I have to throw you out with the police. Let us talk to God, both of us. Let us pray. Let us pray to God over me. Ask God to save me. I'm a talk to God as a widow. Talk to God to save. God save my your child. child. Save my only your child. Only child. Save it for me. Ah, it's okay. Ah, eh, are you okay? Oh, I know he's a merciful God. 
Hello, Emeka. Adora, I am sorry for disturbing you for the last time. I feel I should give you the latest update of my situation and to appeal to your conscience before I die. Emeka, please stop. Why are you talking like this? My father told, told me yesterday that. Yes, Adora. My father was that in Silna compound in the village. Just to pay the person that agreed to sell one of his kidneys to me. Yes, but unfortunately, a while ago, my father was shot at the hospital gate. What? Adora, yes, my father died in the arms of my mother. But as I'm talking to you, because of that, the donor left. In this again, and your father said that he's not going to commit beyond what he has done over the prostated check he issued yesterday. You're my only hope. The doctor has asked us to leave this hospital, that he doesn't want me to die in his hospital. Please, Adora, save me, save my life, and save my poor mother. Hey, ba! 
Daddy, I typed this SMS and asked the Mecca's mother to forward it to you when she is sure that the surgeries to save her son's life are already on the way. If you are reading this now, that means Emeka and I are already under the knife in the operating room at Dr. Henry's hospital. Your dollars are still intact and with Dr. Henry. Go to him for it, please. And meanwhile, Pray for the survival of Emeka and I. Jesus. Jesus. This can never happen. My daughter. No. I found it in Dr. Henry's office. I am gone with your dollars, Chief Ibe. Your daughter trusted me to keep and pass it on to you before going into the theater. But unfortunately, she trusted the wrong person. Still disappointed that my boys returned such a small amount of money that I considered not worth the trouble we took planning and robbing Emeka's father earlier today. 
especially since his poor life was lost in the process. The dollars became not just a consolation to me, but also a big dream come true. No. 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 I understand that my father must be very angry and disappointed with me for what I did for Emeka. So I understand why he never bested me while I was in the hospital, even till I was discharged earlier today. But what I do not understand is why his phones have been switched off since last week? And why you brought me to your house instead of taking me home like I have been demanding? No matter how angry my father is, he is still my father. My blood. I am his only child, so I know that if I beg him, he will forgive me. Sister Dora, trust me, your father is... Pastor, please, please, look at me. Look at me, I am begging you. If you know you are a man of God, Just tell me the truth and nothing but the truth, please. Why are we here? Why? Uh, let us pray. Mm -hmm. oh, no, 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 wait. What is going on here? I don't understand. We have to pray before you tell me why we are in your house. I, I, I don't get it. What is going on? Please talk to me. What? Why is Mama crying? Don't cry. Is my father okay? Please tell me, is my father okay? Someone should talk to me for God's sake. What is going on here? Uh, fine, um, sit down. Sit down. <laughs> First, the money your father gave you to lodge in the back was a repayment of a syndicated loan that was guaranteed by a political godfather in the north. The next day was the last day the court gave him to pay or he forfeit all he has, including the cars and your residential house. Having failed to repay back the loan, which loan he took to massively expand his business. A little over two years ago, Dr. Henry, whom you gave the money to pass on to your father, unfortunately eloped with it. When your father heard about it, he had a massive heart attack and he died.
we slide, we thank you because we let you have them on life this day. And Father, we are with this morning even better. Father, thank you. We commit every activity of today unto your able care. Father, guide us and bless us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory be to your holy name. Father, we'll sanctify and bless whatever we're going to eat and drink today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now, Father, from Amen. Good morning, Mama. 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 Bless you, Mama. Bless you. <laughs> and so, Mama, let's go and make breakfast. Brother Amika and Sister Adora, I want to have a word with you. Oh, no, Mama, not till you can go inside. Okay. <sighs> Brother, is anything the matter? Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit asked me to ask you, why are you living a lie to each other? Living a lie? Yes. Why are you refusing to open up to each other about your shared innermost true feelings? Brother, I have always been in love with her since I met her on campus. But I suppressed it because she started dating my best friend then because I have so much respect for both of them. But when you died, I suppressed it still out of respect for her mood. After we met again some months back, it all came flooding back because of her humility and kindness in dealing with me as to why I kept it to myself, Brother John. Fear. Fear of how she or her father will react if I express it. Just fear, nothing more. Same here. Fear. Fear of being seen as taking advantage of his situation and fear of how my father will react too. That was why I never told you that I fell in love with you barely three weeks after you started working with us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being sincere and courageous enough to admit and confess it before me. Now hear the prophecy of the God of Abraham concerning both of you and your future. You were both created by God Almighty to be husband and wife. In obedience to God Almighty and His prophets, you wedded each other in faith despite the uncertainty that surrounds your present and future. Having lost your job, Brother Emeka, and Adora, your entire inheritance, therefore, in obedience to Jehovah's instruction, I have emptied my savings to start you up again. Mm. This is the key to an apartment I rented and furnished for both of you to start life again. This is a check of 850,000. Yeah. Use the money to restart what you can of Chief Ube's liquidated business. For the Lord says, if you remain faithful to him, 
all chief eBay suppliers overseas and his customers here will maintain the same relationship they had with him, with you. Thank you so much. Also, thank Pastor. you very much. Thank you. My God will bless you. Thank you. Let's pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I hear you, Lord. Yes. Brother Mika and Sister Dora, the Lord said I should tell you that both of you should hold your hands and make promise to each other. He is not saying what you should promise, but promise as your heart leads you. Go ahead and make a promise to each other. Um, um, I promise that I will never lie to you, and uh, I will never have sexual contact with any other woman till death do us part. I, I promise to be faithful to you and I promise that I will never lie to you, I will never deceive you and I will never hide anything from you. Come on, come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, once again, I want to say congratulations to both of you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. God bless. <laughs> I am still using for your explanation. I have got forever to do this. I know what, Mr. Ojo. Jesus Christ, what manner of people are our universities churning out these days in the name of graduates? That account in that file was prepared by you, Mr. Ojo. My wife has verted and discovered three million disparity in the figures you arrived at. A graduate, you call yourself an accounting graduate with second class upper credit. God damn it. What is this? Sir, just give me a little time to explain. Mr. Joe, I have sent my wife's observations and you put it to your mailbox. You have one week to respond to it, or else I hand you over to police. Mr. Oh, John, I am done with you. God, what is this? No, 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 Every other manager as well. That is what I'll do.
Hello? Hey, yeah? Yeah, honey, how are you? Please help me go bring Avenger from school. Yeah, I have some things to settle in the office. Yes, it has to do with accounting. It's okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I love you too. Goodbye. Thank you, yeah. God, 100%. What? <laughs> That's my angel. That's my angel. 100%. That calls for celebration. Daddy, I need a balloon. Balloon? Yes. Just that? Yes. You'll get more than that from Daddy, okay? Now, Mommy and Melvin will get something too for wishing you good luck. <laughs> okay? What about that? You will. Daddy, buy a feeding bottle for Melvin. <laughs> feeding bottle? <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. And what? Um, flower for mommy. Wow. Oh, well. <laughs> flower for me. Yeah. My angel. Why flower? Because I want to see you sniffing it. Like that one that daddy bought for you on Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, my baby. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. uh, so, my baby. How are you? <laughs> That is bad. Yeah, it's Melvin. Yo, kiss baby well. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Why is he naked? Mm. Huh? Why? Um, why? Mm. I, I was already oh, yeah. before yeah. you came in. Yeah. Yes. I think you hear him say something mm. like, oh, you know. <laughs> Honey, you won't believe it. Rather than give any cogent reason for the missing money, all Mr. Joe did in the office today for over 15 minutes was to sweat, shiver, and stammer. Hmm? Sweat, shiver, and stammer. As in, he didn't say anything. He said nothing. Wait, wait. The chief accountant of a business outfit prepared an account that has 3 million naira inconsistency in figures and he did not say anything in, in, in explanation. Exactly. Yeah! Exactly. Oh! And he came to be a graduate. <laughs> How in God's name did he make a second class upper in the university? Whoever his lecturers were deserved to be sacked or even sent to prison. God, I guess it was my anger that, that such a buffoon shared the same class of degree with me. After all the sleepless night I put into getting mine, that got me worked up. Honestly, I still can't believe that I didn't punch him in his face in the office this afternoon. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. Eh? That is not the man I fell in love with and married. 
there are other ways to handle such issues, annoying as they are. And I know my honey can do better than using his fist on an incompetent staff, can't he? Of course he can, and he did. I asked you to help me bring a vanja from school so I can stay back in the office and issue him and other managers a query. And they have one week to respond satisfactorily or I hand them over to the police. Better. Uh -huh. Better. In fact, I was going to suggest that. Uh-uh. Eh? What are we talking about here? Three million naira is not three naira. Uh-uh. We just what are two for a book. Now tell me, why is he back so early? Three months after she delivered Melvin, he believes time is ripe for them to start their usual Friday family outing. As usual, you have shown that you have a way of seeing and also knowing the innermost abundance of my soul. <laughs> I'm happy to sing your music. Poet. <laughs> I'm fine. Yes. Please leave that thing. Hmm. You don't want me. Eh? <laughs> go away, go away, go away. No, 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 no. Um, we actually went on a family outing. Well, we uh, uh, yes. We are on our way back. No, no, no. Please, tell me you're joking. Are you serious? I, I can't wait to have you. Of course, of course, I can't. Please, leave all that to your long talk, I beg. When are you coming in? This weekend. My husband and I will be at the airport to pick you up. That is a promise. <laughs> oh my God, I can't wait. Yes, everyone is fine. The baby is fine. Yes. Yeah, all of them are here. Okay. Just hold on. Who wants to talk to Auntie Mabel? All right. Hello, Auntie Mabel. I'm fine. And Mary is fine too. Auntie, please, may I ask you a question? Do you like planted porridge? <laughs> oh, I'm just <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Father, I will say thank you. Father, I will thank you because only you can do this, Lord. Father, I will thank you because you have given them these gifts. Father, Lord, as they are moving into this apartment, oh Lord, as they are moving into this house, oh Lord, good things of life will follow them here in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord Almighty and the living God. Enemies will never see them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, whoever they say they will not live in this house in peace, oh, Father, they will sleep and never wake up. Oh, Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because it's only you that can do this for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Father, we say thank you. thank you. Glory be to your holy name. Father, Lord, as you have given this wonderful gift to Brother Emeka and Sister Dora, Oh, Father, they will continue to bless you and glorify your holy name. Thank you for giving to them, O oh Lord. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Uh, I want to congratulate you, Brother Emeka and uh, Sister Tora, for achieving this important milestone in your lives as a couple. 
in just two and a half years. Yes. Indeed, nothing is impossible where there is love and the Holy Spirit at work. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Who would have believed just before your wedding? When the storm of life almost swallowed both of you up? Who would have predicted that you would become a miraculous success story today? To have purchased this structure as your personal home. Glory be to your holy name. But, Brother John, you prophesied this. Have you forgotten? Oh, yes. As directed by God, I see what the Lord revealed to me. I thank God who made the prophecy of his servant in our lives to come to pass. And I thank you too for making yourself available to God Almighty to use you so massively to bless us. Glory be to your holy name. Thank God, as you water in the vineyards of God, may He water your vineyard also day and night. Amen, amen. Our brother Mika, this is just the beginning of your blessings from him. For honoring the prophet of God by inviting me here to come and officially open and bless this house. I will say, yes Lord. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I hear you, Lord. I hear you, Lord. And I will speak to the faithful. As you have instructed me, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Yes. Brother Emeka and Sister Adora, the Holy Spirit said, on no account must you allow other people to live with you in this house. So I I don't get you. Yes. Yes, Lord. Except your children, your mother, and those people that will work for you as domestic staff. No relative, no friends, no colleagues should share this house with you. Except the Lord decrees otherwise. This is the injunction of the Holy Spirit. Mm. For any disobedience from God, the repercussion will be very disastrous. Thus says the Lord. Amen. Tell me, is this accounting issue at the office that is still bothering you? Office accounting issue is no worries bothering me. 
what is bothering me right now is this idea of Mirabel coming to stay with us in this house. Yes. Hello. This is my friend of 19 years. And my chief vice bed that you're referring to. Have you forgotten? Even in our university days, I know that you and Mirabel, we are very, very, very close. I know that both. Honey, but what? <sighs> what have you, have you forgotten Brother John's warning to us the day he came to bless this house for us? Have you forgotten? He told us that God warned that we should never allow outsider to stay with us in this house. And he also warned us of the consequences of disobeying that. Now, Mirabel coming to stay with us in this house, does that not amount to such disobedience? <laughs> Baby, now I understand where you're driving to, but... <laughs> Mirabel is just coming to stay with us for two weeks. Maybe just two weeks. I don't know. She says she got a job with a multinational firm in this country. And she'll be starting with them in a week or so after her return. And the job comes with accommodation and some goodies. I know all that. I know all that. But even at that, something in me still tells me that a day of disobedience to Brother John's warning to us is not a good thing. So I prefer we play safe. By? By getting her a hotel accommodation. Yes. No matter what it costs, even the costliest hotel in this town, honey, I will pay. Uh, 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 please, 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 please. Please, I beg you in the name of God, be calm. Let us not do something that will amount to humiliating and embarrassing a good friend of ours. Can you listen to yourself? Get her a hotel accommodation yeah. in a city where we have this big house all to ourselves. Ah, that is not fair now. It is not fair at all. Hmm? Mirabel. Mirabel that accommodated me in Canada when I went there to deliver two times. Check your name. This is not fair at all. Please, please. Pico. Honey, Brother John said. I know what Brother John said. I am no less a believer here. I introduced him to you, remember? Hmm? Now, honey, why don't we call Brother John and ask him of his own opinion before he travels out of the country tomorrow? Call Brother John. Because of this trivial issue. Honey, that would be just abusing the closeness we have with him. Eh? No. Hello? Honey? Brother John? Is our spiritual director. Listen, forgotten. Listen, listen. Charity and the Spirit of God, they are one and the same. Refusing to help someone who is in need for whatever reason, to me, is the classic example of the selfishness of the rich. And that is against every known quality of God. Remember, you almost lost your life once. And someone's charity helped you and saved your life. Honey, don't even go there. Why would I not go there? Don't even go there. Uh -uh. No, why? Why? See, a friend is a friend. And need is need. Mirabel, our friend, needs Remember your past. 
reason for that alone. Let us help my friend. Hmm? God will understand. I promise you, he will understand. In agreeing with you tonight, I will be lying to myself if I don't say it loud and clear that I don't like this. I am not comfortable with it at all. I know. But you're doing it for your love. And I appreciate it. And please, honey, don't bring my past travels into our discussion and how I was saved and helped. Please, don't. Whenever you say it, it makes me feel you're blackmailing me. My goodness. No, 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 no. That's how I feel. Uh, no, I, I, I think we need like that. Okay, fine. really sorry for mentioning that this night. And I promise you with all my heart it will never happen again. I'm sorry. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Severe this, severe that. <laughs> yeah. And not to forget the quiet things that are happening over there. Do you know the one that shocked me? The last time I visited, I heard that the gay rights um, activities in Canada now is getting out of hand. That gays are now free to sit down and talk about their sexuality where heterosexuals are, and it is seen as bravery. Hmm. That one is a bit small to compare with the stupid things people do these days. I can't imagine raising my kids in a Western country. Not possible. Same here. Despite our political and economic problem, Nigeria is still the best place to stay, train up children and do business. Yes. More than all these so-called Western developed countries. Yes? That's true. There's no place like home. Nigeria still remains the best. And Ada, I thank you so much for agreeing to accommodate me in your house despite the short notice I gave. Um, I really appreciate it. Again. Please, 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 Mimi, stop it. Stop it. This is Africa. And we value friendship and brotherhood. Hmm? It's okay. And come to think of it, Ada, the evidence of the power of your kitchen is everywhere on Emeka. And Emeka, you've really brought out the oh. best already in Adora. Mimi, I can't believe you. Wait, so after four years in Canada and a PhD degree to show for it, you have not changed. You are still your swagalicious funny self. Eh? <laughs> anyway, that is by the way. Hmm? Welcome back home. And more importantly, welcome back to me. <laughs> So, here we are. This is your room. This is lovely. Thank you. Come on. Ah, it's not as big and as fantastic as the room you usually give me anytime I visit you in Canada. Oh, come on. That was just a little apartment. Hello. Gratitude is a virtue. That's what my father always say. And like my mom always say, no part of child is greater than yours. Hey, 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 ladies, enough of the banter. Okay? If my memory of a long distance journey will still serve me right, Mirabel, you should be having jet lag. So you need some time to rest, have time, and deal with it. Okay. So, hey, let's. No, 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 no. I'm very sure my tired friend here will need my assistance to unpack before resting. 
Won't you? Yeah, sure. Mm. So, <laughs> honey? Okay, okay. Sure. <laughs> you guys better, eh? Yeah? All right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. Ah, thank you so much for agreeing with the suggestion of my friend in Canada for me to come back home and take care of my emotional torture. Honestly, I, I, you needed to have seen me then. I, 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 it was like as if I was, I was, I was going to run mad. But now I'm a bit relieved. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's okay. You're more like a sister to me than a friend. So I'll do anything in my power to help you stabilize. Okay? If you ask me, I actually think you're a very strong woman. Because I can't even imagine how I would feel if I were in your shoes. Imagine me catching my fiancé in bed with my neighbor less than a month. To, 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 to our wedding. Hey, how would that now? And then imagine his audacity telling you to your face that he never loved you and that he only used you to get closer to your neighbor whom he has always loved. I mean, that is the height of insensitivity and wickedness if you ask me. How huh. to have seen me? I died a million times over. And I, 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 I can't even, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what is going on. I don't, sometimes I, and I feel that I'm cursed. Yeah. I okay. feel I'm cursed. No, don't say that. Do not. This is just one of those things that happen to one in life. Mother, seven different relationships all ended in heartbreaks. Why? Why me all the time? Why? Friendship is one friendship I will hold very dear to my heart. I'll make sure I keep this friendship till I die. Same here. Same here. Okay? And once again, welcome back to Motherland. Thank you. <laughs> Come Thank here. You. Thank you. I'm so happy to have you. Good morning, Rose. Let me help you with the mopping. Help me? Uh, I no. I I can handle it alone, please. I didn't say you can't, Rose. It's early morning, as you can say, and I'm out of bed to do the necessary domestic chores. Hmm? So let me help you. Uh, uh, Auntie, please. This is part of what I get paid for. Beside, my madame and her husband will be angry with me if they should walk in here and meet you doing the same thing I am paid to do. Please. Do you know what? Leave your madame and the husband for me. Hmm? They and I have come a long way. You know what? Let me help you finish up with the mobbing while you do something else. Hmm? Come on, boss. Kill that look on your face. I want to help you. You let me do this. Go and look for something else to do. Mm? I will help you do this. Okay, uh, Auntie, if, if you insist, I have, I have more dear. We can continue. Okay, fine. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's okay, go. Look for something else to do. Mm. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Good morning, Mimi. Would have been the better way to start the morning, girlfriend. Oh, sorry. Mimi, good morning. How was your night? My night was cool. And yours? Fine. And my day will be better if you allow me to be myself. <laughs> Mimi, I know you. I know you enjoy doing house chores. But in this case, you shouldn't. I know you have someone you pay to do this, right? Exactly. 
And where is she, sir? Rose! Rose! Yes. How dare you, Rose? Where were you? Eh? Why did you leave this thing for her to do? Why? See, Adora, when I came out here and wanted to assist her, she protested. But I insisted, so... Oh, you insisted. A PhD holder. Doing the work of my paid maid. I cannot pay you. You know what? Adam, still Mirabel. Girl, leave me to feel free. What does having a PhD has to do with this? You're getting me all wrong. That's not what I meant. Um, Rose, leave us here. Yeah? <laughs> Go on and continue what you were doing. Adam, see, if you don't want me to do this, that means you're indirectly telling me to leave your house. Jesus! <laughs> Mirabel. See, so are you going to let me do what I was doing before you met me? Or you want me to go up there and pack my things? Yes. I want to clean this. You can just clean, okay? Then you also clean the inside. Do you understand? Mm. Come closer. Can you see? Can you see the difference? Yes. Okay. So same with this. Is in from here. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. So this one is sensitive. Before you clean this, you need to use a powder on top to clean it. But we'll do this later. Before then, let's continue with this again. Mm. Rose, look at what I'm teaching you. Oh. You see? You see what I was telling you? The PhD holder. After moving the whole floor, down the cut. Good morning, Emeka. Good morning, and how was your night? Splendid. And yours? Good. Why that surprise look on your faces, Mr. and Mrs.? See, I saw you guys when you got there. The only thing is that I missed the gossip. <laughs> and so, um, like I said, this we we'll use a powder on top of this to clean the tea because it's sensitive. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, do it, let me watch it. Do this one. Thank you. anything but easy. I've seen a lot from you guys already in the last three days I've spent here. And it's like every day they come up with one prank or the other. These days Melvin will not sleep until Evangel sleeps. Eh? And then the, the, the stress of running our business is so much on, on the other that it will be very insensitive of me to, to, to ask him to help out with the kids. That's why I'm here. Let me help you out with them tonight. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Trust me. Hmm? This is one job that will break you before you even start. Honestly. Let's see how that goes. Eh? I, no, 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 Mirabel. I, I can't allow you to do that. Three months since you had Melvin. Let me ask you. How many times have you played your spousal role to Emeka? No, no, hold on, girlfriend. Let me tell you. Nursing a child is not enough reason for you to kill romance in marriage. Do you know what you're going to do for me? Go and play your role as a wife. Marry a maker tonight and I'll help you take care of the kids. How about that? Mimi, this won't be difficult for me, honestly. I'm not complaining. Mommy, I want Auntie Mira when this night. And what does mom say? <laughs> okay, but make sure you're very good to answer. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, sorry. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I can't leave you like this. Don't worry, I said I'm going to take care of him. I'll take care of him. Okay, let me just try it again. Okay, don't worry. supposed to allow them to go to this huh. This is my workaholic friend. Eh? She doesn't like wrestling at all. See, I've always admired her ways, but in the past six days she has spent with us, eh? I'm beginning to envy her. What do you mean? I mean, with all her achievements, you know, she's still down to earth. Why do you say that? You know, with all her academic achievements, she's still down to earth. What else do you want me to say? I'm impressed too. But I don't think envying her is the best thing to do because every human being has his own way of uniqueness. But your own stands out for me any time, any day. Oh, thank you. That is why I will never ever regret marrying. And um, I have no life without you. As for Mirabel. Conduct since she came in here has completely erased my fear. Wow, it feels good to be proven right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
love birds. <laughs> Hello, Miss Workaholic. Dora, can you just stop? Come, let me do what I want to do. Okay, I'll stop. Thank you. this broke box of flesh. Please stop it. You're not. You're not for God's sake. Just stop. I am. You are not. I am. I said you are not. As long as I am still alive, I will do anything to give you back your smile. And mm. under this roof too. Okay? I will do it because I value our friendship. Let me go from everything you've said to me today. The prospect of your husband allowing me to stay here for a long time. It's serious. Don't worry about that. 
talk to my husband once he comes back from work. Okay? What if he says no? Don't worry. Leave it to me. See, my husband has never said no to me. He loves me that much. And because of that, he's willing to risk anything. You looked like you were going to vomit fire when you walked into the sitting room earlier. That is it, honey. That is it. Mr. Joe duped us such huge amount of money. In just three months, you were maternity leave. And the stupidity of the other managers in not cross checking fat and figures with me first before approving was responsible. God, I can't believe this. So, why is he now? He's nowhere to be found. The thief disappeared into thin air. Can you imagine that? Maybe there's a good side to all this. Maybe God saw this coming and made Mirabel free and available to us, you know, to help out. Meaning? Um, the company that um, wanted to employ her sent her a message this afternoon telling her that She'll have to wait until six months to resume with them. And where is she going to stay till then? Oh, uh, honey, I, I, I understand how you feel about this. Believe me, I do. But you, you've got, you've got to. I asked you a simple question. Um. Mirabel doesn't have enough money for her to survive on her own without a job. And I am the only friend she has around. And friendship to me should come with some type of obligation in times of need. On your part or on hers? On my side. But understand me. Mirabel has always been there for me. In fact, during the trying times that preceded our marriage, she was 
the one that talked to me and encouraged me to make the sacrifice that oh, please, not again, please, please. I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. I got this up now. But, but please. Honey, our spiritual director did not mean words. Where you want or start. Honey, please, please, please. There is no service to God without service to humanity. And there is no, no, no Christianity without charity and love for one another. Listen, God that encourages us to love one another cannot turn around and tell us not to accommodate or help someone who needs it for whatever reason, disclosed or undisclosed. It doesn't make sense. Are you now saying that Brother John lied to us in the name of God? That we sir. Are you now doubting a man who for all intents and purposes made us what we are today because of your friend? Honey, God is love. And love is giving and sharing. Am I wrong? Honey, the ways of God are too mysterious for any human being to explain it away with logic and philosophy. Caution, my dear, caution. Listen, caution and fear of the unknown are two different things. While I agree to be cautious here, I refuse to live and act based on fear of the unknown. Please, if you truly love me, I am begging you, Allow my friend to stay. Please. Again, you're blackmailing me. And I, I am not, I am not blackmailing you. I am only begging you. Please. Help my friend. She doesn't have anyone else and she doesn't have anywhere else to go. Please, we are the only ones who can help her. So I am begging you, help me to help my friend, please. Oh, okay, okay. Stand up. You want her? She stays. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's okay. And then. Uh, what were you saying before I got you off? Um, Mirabel has a PhD in management accounting. Why don't we just give her the job? You know, maybe until I, I, I resume work. That way, she can make money to take care of her immediate needs. Please. Have you discussed that with her? Um, she, she actually suggested it to me. But she was only talking about, you know, working alongside Mr. Ojo. And that's because we did not know the situation at hand. Please, is, is that something you can allow? And more importantly, he has 
agree to employ you as our chief accountant for six months. With monthly salary of 200,000 naira. <laughs> are you serious about this? I am very serious. I don't write you for me. I don't. No, Adora, Adora, you must be joking. This is one time I'm not joking with you. I'm very serious. Are you Very serious. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The system needs to be upgraded. Mm -hmm. So when are they bringing it? Okay. Okay. It's already settled. by tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll call you back. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Mirabel, what is it? Sir, I want to show you something. Okay. Sir, I have successfully created an accounting system for the company. It is so simple that just at the kick, you can see and evaluate everything every transaction that is going on in the company. But I don't know if you would let me. I want to upload the software from in the company networking system as if you approve of it. But before then, let me explain how it works with the hard copy. Okay, let me see it. Hi there, good morning. Oh, good morning. Where are you rushing off to when breakfast is already served? I'm off to work. Need to balance some minor figures before the boss gets to the office. Today is the management meeting. So I'll see you when I get back. Uh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Honestly, if I do not say this to you right now, then I am an ingrate. From what my husband has been telling me for the past two months since you took over the company's account department, it seems you're the one helping us more than we're helping you. What the? Why are you making a mountain out of an ant mouth? What? How can you even compare? I am not making any comparisons here per se. I am only stating the fact. Last night, he even told me about a business deal you set up with a Canadian company that has the potential of doubling our company's financial strength within one year. What else can I say? What else can I say? Thank you. Thank you so much. I am so proud of you. I'd have told you this time without number. Your family is also my family. The company is also part of the family. So I'll put in everything to see it grow. Hmm? Or are you saying you expected less from me when you recommended me for the job? No. <laughs> see. And I know if you were to be in my shoes, you would do more than this same thing you're here making me feel special for. Come on, see, let me tell you the truth. Even the devil who gets close to you must shine. Because you're such a good soul. Oh, true. true. Very true. I can attest to that in every aspect of my life <laughs> since I met her. <laughs> no, no, no. What is this? or a deliberate attempt by both of you to patronize me. You know what, Ada, you're a very special species. Anybody that comes close to you, like I said before, must shine. So it's no lie. I'm serious about it. I'll see you when I get back. <laughs> Have a nice day. 
and same here. All right, okay, bye. bye. <laughs> Very extraordinary person. Mm -hmm. She's been a blessing at home so far. Yes. And in the company too. <laughs> I'm glad. Um, he's ready for the breakfast. And she has served it.